Welcome back, everybody. It is uh, 17 minutes after 9, time for Ask the Expert. Scott Watson is here from Watson's Pharmacy and Wellness Center. We're going to take your phone calls at 613-789-6559, extension 2803. You can email those questions to ottawa.morning at ctv.ca. You can even Facebook us questions. I guess, Scott, we'll open it up to any and all sort of questions today, yeah. right? You know, Absolutely. It's, it's in between Christmas and New Year's. It's cold and flu season. It's, it's right. It's chapped uh, lip chapped season, lips, chapped face the, season. Yeah. Flu, it's shoveling cough, season. Cough and cold, everything. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be a few back aches today with this heavy snow. <laughs> back aches too. That's a good yeah. one. How are you? Not bad. Did Merry you Christmas. Have a good Christmas. Christmas. Yes, good to see you. Good, good to see, see you too, sir. Kids are well. Yes. Yes, we're uh, heading out to one of the mountains here, Cascade, to do a little bit of ski Mount lessons. Cascade. How's that for skiing? I think it's uh, it's getting good more and more snow, hill, so yeah. it's uh, it's a great place for the kids to learn. Yeah. They have one of those cool little ski carpets that take the kids up. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Scott Watson, you know, is a pharmacist, but he's a little <laughs> different than a lot of pharmacists, I think. I, I mean, I'm sure they all do this sort of thing, but you're a, you're a man who's heavily into uh, concoctions, compounds. That's right. Doing your own thing, yeah, right? You know, I've done a couple extra courses, and it's focusing in on compounding. And, and this kind of just shows some of the tools of the trade. I mean, everybody has seen our mortar and pestle. I love that. Yeah, it's great, you know, yeah. and this is the, the now, aspect of pharmacy that I truly love. That's This is your favorite part of it, yeah, right? Absolutely. Other than, you know, the people and so on. That's right. Well, what is it you do? Like, what kind of compounds are you making up? What are you, what are well, you doing? So, we belong to a group. Um, it's called, well, this kind of just shows some of the advanced tools that we have and right. some of the new equipment. Um, this, the old style of compounding was the mortar and pestle, but now we have, we have accurate weights and we have... Uh, tools uh, that mix up the creams and uh, we have capsule machines that will help us generate hundreds of capsules at a time now so yeah. it's, it's really quite advanced and it's come a long ways and it's it's really it's a really fun uh, scientific artistic way to that pharmacists can help the healthcare system right right yeah. so what is it you, you, you spend so, your time doing so what it is we always start from well we traditionally start from chemicals and these are pharmaceuticals that we can actually purchase from our group called PCCA which stands for the Professional Compounding Centers of America. Mm -hmm. uh, doctors that know about this and sometimes where this comes into is where a commercial product is out there but it's just doesn't it's not quite the right fit for that individual. Right. So it's a little more custom and they want something a different dose, a different formulation, so a combination of ingredients. This compounding can be very specific to that's, a person. That's right. That's right. It's not just a it group could of be people. a commercial product has an ingredient that somebody is sensitive to. Right. And we will then get the actual chemical itself and make that in such a way that that person can take it. So what do you let me ask you this. The most common compound you put together as a pharmacist would be for? Well, the so pain relievers, say somebody has an upset stomach from taking things like aspirin or ibuprofen, Motrin, right. and they just can't take anything orally because it's going to hurt their stomach a lot, but they do have this pain in their elbow. Uh, we can take one of those anti-inflammatories, run it in through a mill, and put it into a cream that they can put onto their elbow, and, it, and then the medicine is going to get to the site of the action, but it's going to miss the stomach, so it's going to keep the stomach nice and safe. So that is a very good And has the same example. effects? It does. It gets through the skin. It'll go to the site of action. A uh, very small amount will go to the stomach, but we're going to traditionally it's going to keep that stomach nice and safe. So that is a very good example of what mm -hmm. compounding can do. Mm -hmm. So there's that's many, that's more many. common ones. That's one. But again, more. you get very individualistic. Absolutely. Uh, Bioidentical hormones are in the news a lot. That's made by compounding pharmacies, and that's another one that we do where uh, the commercial products aren't right for the individuals, and we'll actually get in there and make creams or capsules for the women that are going through menopause. Right. So not every pharmacy is a compound pharmacy. No. We, so as I was mentioned there, we're a member of the PCCA, which is the Professional Compounding Centers of America. And mm -hmm. what they do is they help us with learning. They put on courses. Uh, they supply us with the active ingredients that we're starting with. And they also have a lot of the tools that we use to make. What is this? So this is a capsule machine that we can you know, design a capsule with a certain amount of it, powders that have the traditional ingredients, uh, the, the medicines that are, the doctors are prescribing. 
And then we just combine the powders in a way that's going to make a very nice mixture that'll get the right amount of medicine into each of those capsules. So it's a it's right a, because when you're mixing wonderful. things, imagine if you got too much in. That's right. Of this no. or that in different capsules. So there's a lot of quality assurance that goes into this. Every set of capsules, we're doing mathematical calculations to make sure that it's proper. How often do you do this sort of thing? Every day. Every, Every day. day. We're up to we do about. It's almost 10% of my practice is compounding now. Now that's an interesting statistic because. At the turn of the century, which would have been a great time to be a pharmacist, it was about 80%. Yeah, it was of all the, compounds. All compounds, yeah. 80%. And then by the 1970s, it's less than 1% yeah. uh, that a pharmacist was actually compounding. You're old school, Scott Watts. I love it. Yeah. All right, we're going to take our first break, but uh, here's a perfect opportunity to remind you that um, while you can ask questions, maybe you need a specific compound that Scott can make up for you uh, for a particular ailment. Maybe you've been through that experience. Maybe you have questions about other things that Scott can answer, like, you know, things to do with your sore throat or your sniffles or what have you. Wide open today. Scott Watson is here from Watson's Pharmacy and Wellness Center. There's the information to get in touch with us. We'll be right back.